All right. Take six. Take six. Welcome to the next episode, a special episode, a Monday episode of the Pantheon of Apollo. Um, if I don't get it right this time, I'm going to give up for the night and go to bed. I'm actually extremely tired. Um, I've had a few problems recording this episode. Um, so if it doesn't work this time, then we're just going to... And it uh, looks like Blender is not going to work. For, there we go. All right. That was scary. I really didn't want to start over again. And I really want this episode to come out today. Um, welcome to a special Monday episode of the Pantheon of Apollo. I am Apollo. Um, so a little disappointing news, guys. I did this so many different times that our render doesn't look anything like what you remember it. This is what we have again, or so far. Um, in the previous little takes that I've done for this, I created the pedestal on the bottom by using a cylinder at six poly and then exp crushing it and expanding it to be our little pedestal. Um, we modeled some rocks, which I'll do real quick again. That's not a big deal for me. Um, we put our sword in the stone uh, we gave the stone some color. I'm having trouble with the uh, smooth shading, or the subsurface modifier smooth shading, I guess. So if you're, I'm going to ask already again, if you're a Blender user and you're watching this, um, if I haven't already fixed it, leave a comment below for me and I will see it and explain to me how you get the subsurface modifiers to apply. Because um, if I switch to edit mode, and I go, where is it? Add modifier, smooth, apply. It says I cannot, uh, oh, it's because I'm in edit mode. It, it, well, even in object mode, it won't, it won't let, it, it doesn't change anything. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong on that. I, I thought that's how you did it. But um, I guess what I'm going to do is show you guys real quick. Uh, what what you missed out in the last two hours of recording, and that is gone forever. Um, my stupid self had my muke, uh, mic muted for the last one for some reason. I don't know how it got muted. I must have hit it somehow. So I just talked to myself for 30 minutes, and not a single thing was recorded at all. So, um, I, I think I didn't delete it yet. I might have deleted it, though. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hide the whole scene. And that's another thing over here that I talked about. Um, I'm absolutely sure that there's a faster way to do this rather than going through every single thing one at a time. I am sure there is a better way to do this rather than having a thousand objects over here. I think you can merge them all into one. But... That's not something I know how to do yet. I'm going to have to research that for you guys and maybe figure it out. And like always, if you're a Blender user or... Excuse me. But if you know what you're doing, leave a comment below and let me know. There are people following along that would love to know the right way to do this. So we're going to hit Shift A. Uh, we're going to make a rock, a stone, uh, UV sphere. I'm going to leave the polys the same because I don't know if it matters. We're going to go from object mode to sculpt mode. Um, uh, uh, no. Uh, anyway, this is not what I want to happen. Um. Let's go from sculpt mode back to object mode. Go here, go here, no. Oh, this is frustrating. Everything worked out so well. Edit mode, maybe? Uh, no. Um, hmm. There we go. This is what I needed. All right. Now back to sculpt mode. 
All right, what I did is I just changed it to this because it's easier to see. Now what I want to do, ooh. What the heck is happening here? Um. Okay. Something's not right. Um. Uh. Why is it? No. This something's not going on right with my sculpting engine. Why is it different? Is it because it's on that mode? Um, no. Um, all right. Um, let's start from the beginning. All right. So let's go to open recent. Let's go highlight everything and hide it all. Oh, no. Come on. I'm a little frustrated right now, so I, I, I really do apologize if this isn't the greatest episode now, because this is take seven. Um, I'm going to definitely make editing a priority now, because if I knew how to edit these then this would be a non-issue. I could have just fixed everything that I did in the very first take. Um, and all would have been well in the world. So switch to sculpt mode. See, it's still doing it. Why is it doing that? Uh, this one, maybe? Hmm. I don't understand why this is happening. I've done this seven times now, and this is the first time that it's happening. Draw. It's not supposed to take clay away. Why is it taking it away? Uh, strength. Oh. Is that it? Huh. I guess that's it. I, I don't know what I did up here. Uh, I guess I hit that somehow. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start making a rock shape. Um, I, I, I kind of wanted a different shape for my stone that the sword's actually in as opposed to the rocks around it supporting it. But you can you can do whatever you really want if you're just doing stones or whatever. Um... You can just make a basic stone shape or whatever whatever floats your boat, whatever gets your fancy going, whatever rocks your rocks your socks off, I guess. So I'm gonna do a little bit more on here, right here, right here. Come on. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. That's a good rock shape. Uh, let's come down here. And let's scale down this, I guess. There we go. That's better. Now, there's supposed to be... What is this? Oh, yeah, no, I don't have that. Now, there's supposed to be something called dynamic topography, I think. And I'm not sure where to find it or how to use it. But, um, it's supposed to be better. Or maybe it's the other one that's better. I don't know. I'm going to not talk about that because I don't know what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to switch from sculpt mode back to object mode and then I'm going to take the object I'm going to grab it I'm going to move it so that way we can bring back everything else in the scene 
again. Oh wait, was it this button? No. Where was that button at? Uh, view layer? No. I thought it was this button. Uh, no. Let's go all the way up, maybe. No, I don't remember. I'm tired. I, I apologize. I'm tired, and now I'm frustrated with doing this so many times. And it would be helpful if I knew the skills necessary to do it. But I'm going to learn. That's part of learning. The part of the learning process. So we're going to take our asteroid, I mean our stone, and we're going to scale it down from the size of an asteroid to the size of a stone. Uh, grab Y. Grab X. We have... Grab X, grab Z. All right, so now this is where we're at. All right, we have our new addition. I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit more, just a little bit. All right, so now what we went over before, again, all right, where's the camera? Cause I wanna hide that too. Uh, camera, there we go. So what we're gonna do is we're going to grab it, bring it up here for a minute so you can see. We're going to hit Shift D, and that's going to duplicate it. So you can only, I only made four just now. <laughs> when I first did this tutorial, I did one. And I said, oh, all I did was make one rock and duplicate it, and that's these ones right here. You can kind of see how they all look pretty similar or the exact same. That's because they are exactly the same rock. They are just Shift D duplicated so that's a really handy trick when you're doing something like this with you know with uh, rocks that you got to do or maybe uh, sprinkles on a donut would be another great time to use duplicate um, now the thing that you can use to make this better is called the particle system I haven't figured that out yet I will figure that out and use it on a, for a different time but for the sake of the fact that for the sake of my sanity right now I'm just gonna go and do finish this out the way I had planned to for you guys uh, Z Y no. grab Z Grab X, grab Y, grab X. Uh, let's rotate it. Um, I'm just trying to make it a little less obvious that I'm using the same stones by rotating it, by hiding portions of it. Um, you can you can do all kinds of neat. I might rotate this one. You can do all kinds of stuff to try to make it to where you can't really tell. See, like this. No. Rotate Y. No. Rotate X. Rotate X. Uh, still don't like it. Grab... Grab Y, so grab Y, rotate Y, let's see what that looks like. That's a little bit better. Uh, grab Z, let's put this one over here. Grab X, nope. Grab Y. Grab Z, and then kind of just tuck it in right there. All right, so now that's that's exactly what I did. I did this seven times now. Seven times for all these supporting rocks and boulders and the stone, all of it. I, That's what I did. And then if you hit render and check our rendered image, you're going to kind of see, well, once I do coloring, and um, I think for the next episode, I think the most important thing is going to be doing texturing. So that's might be what I do, but I might do I might do a side video on editing because I feel like 
today is a very important lesson. I feel like today's lesson is editing is probably the most important piece of this puzzle. If I'm going to keep making videos for you guys, if I'm going to keep doing this, I feel editing should have been maybe episode one or, you know, episode two. I don't know. But today has shown me that editing is an extraordinarily important step to this process. Um, but I think this is, I think this is turning out well. I mean, it, it is what it is as far as, you know, it's, this is my first time and I'm, I'm pretty proud of this. I've, you know, got this scene going. I might change the center rock a little bit. Um, can I just do this? Nope, I can't. All right. Um. Oh. Oof, 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 oof. I can do it. <laughs> um. But yeah, you can you can always change stuff. You can rearrange stuff. You can. I want this edge gone right here. That's there we go. Um, let's just add that back up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. That's nice. But uh, so the lessons for today are going to be your hotkeys, Shift D for duplicate. Um. We've been practicing, if you haven't noticed, a lot with uh, hitting G and then your X, Y, Z keys because that, that actually that actually sped sped the process up quite a bit. Because before, um, if you would have been able to see me on take two and three and four, I was moving each stone individually in place by uh, hitting here and then hitting G and then moving here and then, you know, arranging it and then, you know, kind of just winging it and then kind of looking here oh that's not how I want it and then kind of coming down and it was actually really time consuming it took me it actually took me uh, 30 minutes uh, I think you can see them uh, these boulder or these rocks right here I think a couple over here it took me 30 close to 30 minutes to do just those and then whoops and then on take five or six the one that I did before this, I did all the other ones plus a couple of the bigger ones. I might actually scale this up. Let's see how I like that in the background. Uh, so that's that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, that's the learning experience, guys. Uh, your G, X, Y, Zs are extremely useful tools. Um, what I'm going to try to do, probably not the next episode because I think the next episode really has to be editing. Or maybe I'll just do editing on my own time and not even bother putting it in here. But um, if you have a vote, go ahead and vote down below in the comment section. If you want me to do an editing video, uh, let me know and I'll do it. If not, I think the next video is going to be texturing and shading and uh, maybe some grass. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll, um, we'll give our rocks some good color. We'll uh, put some grass in. Uh, maybe... Maybe do some more other things, you know, just uh, kind of keep building our scene up here. I know I was toying with the idea of doing like a uh, someone in full metal armor, our hero, uh, getting ready to pull the sword from the stone or attempt to. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that yet. I might. Let's just let's just see how it goes. Subsurface scattering. Oh, anyway. So um, this episode is going to be a little shorter than the rest of them because I don't have anything else to talk about for the next 10 minutes and I'm, uh, pretty, I'm pretty tired guys. I got work in the morning, so, so, um, uh, YouTube's up to 21 subscribers. That's a uh, awesome mention. If we can get to 30 by the end of the week, I'll do a ultra extra special episode. Um, we're, uh, building up a good community on Twitter. I've uh, connected with the writing community. And they're the most, they're an amazing group of people. Uh, follow me on Twitter, find me on Facebook, the Pantheon of Apollo. 
and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i can't stress this enough that the thumbs up button does help us a lot if you are watching your youtubers and not hitting the thumbs up button even if it's not for me it'd be a great thing to do to help them out so what we're going to do is we're going to hit file and we're going to save and i will see you tomorrow maybe definitely saturday if not tomorrow so thank you for coming in thank you for watching and i will see you guys later